merci beaucoup Nicolas, je sais que tu es toujours dans l'organisation, tu as une vision très précise, très, très carrée, mais il y a une chose que j'avais oublié de préciser qui est très importante, euh, ce qu'il ne faut pas oublier, euh, le lien étroit qui existe entre l'Italie et l'Afrique, et, et que les gens, mais les gens ne savent pas, c'est qu'Afriquia, Afriquia, le nom que les Romains avaient donné à la province, donc à Carthage, a donné le nom au continent africain, Afrique. Et ce sont les Italiens, à travers la présence romaine et euh, la, la prise de Carthage, qui ont donné le nom, en fin de compte, au continent africain. Donc, on a déjà un lien par rapport à ça, donc, ce qui est très important. Euh, Adama, tu es là ah, Adama, est-ce que tu pourrais rajouter quelque chose Parce que toi, yeah. tu as une double culture, une culture africaine et euh, une culture européenne. Et comment euh, ce, que, ce que nos amis ont dit, que ce soit Adja ou Christelle tout à l'heure, Nicolas ou moi-même, est-ce euh, que tu ressens, toi, la même chose à travers euh, tes actions euh, au, au niveau euh, du continent. Yeah, so uh, I think allô, you, allô? you had a great um, inside introduction to understand the, the vitality of, um, of the contemporaneity on the African continent to, to just, and we use obviously, I think we always, it's always important to make, to make the distinction to say that You know, we use African culture. Afri we, we talk about the African continent uh, uh, for a um, for a lack of a better term, in a sense, or for, a, or for an issue of time, in a sense that obviously, I think, speaking about the African continent in itself is always difficult because because yes, we can absolutely see some trends and everything, but obviously, it's always difficult to summarize what is happening, uh, you know, on uh, in in 54 countries like. Uh, you know, at the same time with um, uh, with the right level of detail. Um, but I think overall, I do agree with you when you when you when really we say about the the, the new rising uh, of um, of I would say the visibility and the tools connected to uh, to representation of uh, of African creativity, um, generally speaking. I think, as you said, technology is a great, incredible tool that can amplify, it can, uh, you know, at, at the same time bring unique uh, uh, local experiences and connect them into a uh, continental and pan-African sensitivity. So this, I think, is, a, is extremely interesting. Um, I think that uh, um, when we, we tend to underestimate the importance often of the, of the impact uh, Of the cultural sector uh, on the economy and uh, on the reduction of uh, inequalities compared to other sectors um, it does not uh, only um, support and help uh, uh, the creation of jobs and and the and improvement of the economy overall but i think the creative the creative sector the, the creative sector and cultural sector has the unique uh, capacity uh, to build language To build identity, to build pride, to build uh, um, uh, all those elements that are that are needed to articulate possible future. Uh, so, so I think that investing in uh, in creativity and investing in culture um, on the continent uh, can bring a, a really uh, unique impact to a certain that that often is somehow overlooked. Or, or take it for granted. Um, obviously, I could, we, we, could, we can share a lot, but I, I think as an introduction, I should stop here.